Well, hello again, it's me. Going through all your comments, finally. There's a reason why I don't do these very often. <laughs> anyway, oh, what's, my watch has done something. What's it saying? Oh. Interesting question. What? I didn't ask it. Oh, crikey. I didn't ask it anything. Right, sorry about that. Um, right, here we go. So we finished uh, the last video with Tyler saying, Vax is my favorite Hoover. Uh, Larry Padden, what would happen to be the oldest cleaner currently in your collection and perhaps the oldest one you've had in the past? Uh, Happy New Year, blah, blah. Um, well, Larry, probably the oldest, which I haven't shown you, you might have seen it if you follow me on Instagram, um, is actually um, a non-electric device, a pump-operated vacuum cleaner, sort of, um, called a star. Uh, it's a sort of a metal tube with a bellows and a wooden handle and you hold it and you pump the bellows back and forth and it's supposed to pick up dirt. You will actually see one of those um, somewhere on my channel. There is a, a battle of the vintage vacuum cleaners that I recorded from a um, breakfast television program from I think the 90s and it sort of pits a few old really old cleaners up against each other um, so I would say that's my oldest that I have at the moment um, I've, I've had an older uh, I can't remember the model but I've had one of those chrome colored Hoover uprights um, that was pretty old probably from the I don't know if it's from the 30s um, but I, I tend not you know I do have a few old very old cleaners but they're not my, you know, when they're, if, if they're too old, I'm not so interested in them, to be honest. I think the oldest um, decade for cleaners that really take my interest are really from the 60s onwards. Anything sort of pre, 50s as well, but if, if it's before the 1940s, I'm not so interested in very, very old vacuums. And once I do have, I'm a bit scared to use them because, you know, they often have cables that are perishing and, you just think this could be the last time I vacuum because it's going to give me a shock, you know. So I'm a bit wary of very old cleaners. Um, to be honest, Larry. Irene C, how did you start liking vacuum cleaners? I've answered this many times. I don't know. I was 18 months old. My mum said I started liking vacuums and showing an interest in her vacuum and other people's vacuums. Um, so I don't know how, and I'm sure a lot of people watching this don't know how they started liking vacuums either. It's just something we like. You might like strawberry ice cream. You might like ponies. You might like the smell of freshly mown grass. And you like it because you just like it. And you know, I don't know. I just like vacuum cleaners. I'm strange, but then so are a lot of you watching. We're all a bit nutty. But if we like, we like them and who cares? Pfft. There's no harm in liking them, is there? I don't think there is. Callum Lindsay videos. Can you please do an Argos value uh, value range bagless cylinder vacuum? Um, I've got a few Goblin Asda ones coming up. They're very similar, uh, Callum. They're not interesting. Um, but yeah, I do have some budget vacuums that I need to unbox and demonstrate. I've no plans to do an Argos one, to be honest. They're all much of a muchness, I think, at the very low end of the market. They're probably all made by the same factory. They just have different names put on them. Um, yeah, you know, well, you just, yeah, they're cheap, but they're not worth, they're not worth getting unless you can't afford anything better. Glenn Mallows, which multi-cyclonic cleaner do you think is best at spinning out the dirt before the filter? I'd love a filtration comparison between Dyson Small Ball, Vax Air, and maybe as a curve ball, the Miele CX1. Well, I can say without doing a demonstration, um, I would say the Dyson will be the best at spinning out the dirt before it gets to the filter. Um, and I don't know, the Vax Air is not too bad actually. It's possibly in that order, the Dyson best, followed by the Vax, and 
the Mila. I haven't used the Mila Blizzard uh, very much at all. I've got a couple, so I can't really comment on the long-term sort of filtration of the Mila. Um, but from the short term I used it, I wasn't that impressed. So yeah, the Dyson, the Dyson um, would come out top in my experience. Joseph May, um, oh, he's got a couple of questions. What is your most loyal vacuum cleaner that cleans the best? My folks are looking on getting a new vacuum cleaner and just need some good options. Most likely a canister kind. Or what do you think would be of best quality to purchase? Well, they're very expensive. I'm not sure if you live in, I think you probably live in America, a USA Joseph, because you've referred to a cylinder as a canister and that tends to be um, what Americans call a cylinder. We call cylinder in the UK, you call canister. They're, yeah, I would say SIBO to be honest. Um, depending on how old your folks are, they might find this, uh, the D4 a little bit big and bulky. So for best cleaning canister and best quality, and I think you have them now, the SIBO E3 Premium but it's whether it fits your budget, they're expensive. So that's all I can say because that's the experience and obviously you have lots of different vacuums in the USA that I haven't used, so I can't, you know, there may be cheaper ones that are better. So if any of you have got any other suggestions for Joseph, you can comment under this video if you, if you want to. It might be a bit too late, uh, <laughs> they might have already bought a new vacuum. Polo GTI South Africa, can we get a caravan deep clean and which vacuums vacuum or vacuums are best suited for the job please also it's been a while since we had a big mess test yes well it has been a while you might get one as a treat well if i get to 100 thou you'll you'll i'll mess up the whole house for you how's that um Yes, I well, uh, funnily enough, I have got, I have just bought a vacuum that I'm going to have mainly solely for the caravan. I have gone for a big brand. I won't say what. Um, it's the cheapest of this brand you can buy, and it's just what I need, I think, for the caravan. Um, I wasn't going to take a vacuum in the caravan because I didn't think it was necessary, and it certainly wasn't when I first went out in the caravan. But the second trip we had recently before the lockdown. Um, I could have done with having a vacuum there and mainly not for the carpets but mainly to vacuum the bed because we had to share the bed with the dogs. The dogs will not sleep on the floor. Well Daisy certainly won't sleep on the floor. She's a princess, she sleeps on the bed but she does leave black hairs. So it would have been useful each time I unmade the bed to have a little handheld vacuum with a rotating brush to vac her hairs off first before folding up the bedding and putting it in the bag. Um, before getting out the next day. So yes, I've got some caravanning, sort of cleaning, vacuuming videos, sort of partly recorded and in the pipeline. Jordan, what would you recommend to someone with a decent sized home or a dog that sheds? Looking for a mains powered vacuum, price is completely negotiable. I'm sure you've already been asked, but wanted to put it out there, cheers. Oh, I don't know what country you're from, Jordan. Um, so I'm going to have to assume you're from the UK. <sighs> mm. A dog that sheds, well, you're better off with a dog that sheds in my opinion. This is just my opinion based on experience though. Um, and you want a, a decent sized home, well, I don't know, it's a bit, what is a decent sized home? It, it's all subjective um possibly look at a SIBO uh, Felix or a SIBO X7 if you want a larger cleaner you can get uh, a SIBO X is it an X I think they call it an X8 it's just a wider cleaning head version of the SIBO X7 um, or if you want a wider version of a Felix, you can buy the SIBO Dart 2, which is a more basic version of the Felix, but it does have a much wider head. Um, and both the Felix and the Dart, uh, the Felix and the X7 does have an easily removable brush, which you might need for, for lots of dog hair. So 
Yeah, if you're after an upright and you want a mains powered SIBO, but if you want, you know, I don't know, do you want bagless? I'm just going to say that I'm, I'll stick to those two SIBO X7 or SIBO Felix. Um, do, do, do. Right, I'm not going to. There's some I'm not saying because they're not comments, you know. Or, um, Siam, I think that is Ahmed. What budget vacuum do you prefer? I think I've answered this in an earlier video. I don't really have. What is budget for me? Budget is sort of around a hundred pounds. That's what personally I would consider budget, but some people would consider thirty pounds budget. Um. And I can't recommend personally the very, very cheap under fifty pound budget cleaners because they will they just don't last and they'll be in landfill, you know, within a year or two. So I can't recommend them. So again I'm gonna to have to say a pneumatic. You can if you, you can pick them up for under a hundred. A Henry you can get for under a hundred. And it will last you, you know, a fair few years if you look after it. Um and yeah, I can't. I'm so I can't. You know, I am spoiled that I I I do buy vacuums of all shapes, sizes, and prices. But there's never been a budget one that I would have been happy rec <coughs> recommending. Pardon me. <clears throat> Almost coughed. I'm going to have to pause to have a bit of a coughing fit. And no, I don't think I've got coronavirus. I've just got a frog in my three-year-old. Oh, right, sorry about that. I think it's all the talking. <clears throat> I've just had a bit of a drink. Um, so I hope that's answered the question. Um, I don't, well, the question was, what budget vacuum do you prefer? I don't prefer any, that, you know, but again, what what budget you could have been a bit more specific with price but still um, I've never found the really really cheap vacuums to be much worth worth having they're a waste of money there's an old saying I think it some goes along the lines of buy cheap buy twice so you know yeah you buy something really cheap you'll find you're replacing it sooner and in the end it'll cost you more than if you can sort of save up or just stretch your budget to get something better in the long run on the whole it's not always the case but on the whole um you know better quality vacuum will last you longer and be cheaper in the long run and then of course it's a bit more environmentally friendly because it's not all going to landfill uh emad i think that's how you pronounce it and i caution Will you get another Kirby, please answer? Um, possibly. If I do get another Kirby, because, well, I'm going to be selling a couple and keeping my diamond edition. If I do get another Kirby, it will be a newer Kirby. If I can get one at a decent price. Uh, we'll see if Kirby bring out a new model. I might be tempted, I don't know. <clears throat> so, I might is the answer to that. Will I get another Kirby? Uh, Rebecca, Deline is that? Oric is my favourite vacuum. Do you have any Oric videos? I love Oryx. My name is not William, it is Isaac. Oh, <laughs> it's not Rebecca then. It says Rebecca here. Um, there is, I think, only possibly two Oric videos. I've got an Oric upright and an Oric um, canister video. And also on one, I don't know, what well, didn't have a video of its own. I don't know if it's in a live video. But I show a vacuum cleaner called a McDonald Electric, which I believe is a very early version of an Oric. So I don't know if we'll be seeing much more Oric's, to be honest. I don't know if they're still available in the UK. Second hand, you can get them. Right, I've answered that question. So, and I've, I've answered that question from that particular commenter, so I won't repeat that. Schwa, Schwestern Harry, Schwa, uh, Western Harry, Schwa, I can never pronounce that one word. You have a Vovek VK VT300. Cool. 
Yes, I do. Thank you for noticing. Scott Martin, when will you do the demo of the pneumatic jack? Uh, hopefully, Scott, hopefully before I die. But uh, the way things are going, I might not, <laughs> I might not do it at all. Hopefully. I need to get all the pneumatics out because they are popular. <coughs> Robo Vac Collector. Perhaps he collects robotic vacuums? Hi Roger, my question is, how many robot vacuums you have and how many yellow? <laughs> how many robot vacuums and how many yellow vacuums have I got? How many robot vacuums? Ooh, crikey. Let's see, less than 10, I expect. Let's see, I've got a Valida one. I've got that early Roomba. I've got another Roomba, I've got a Hoover one. I've got a Nito, I've got that Dyson. Uh, oh, I've got another Roomba, two other Roombas upstairs. And, uh, probably another one. Well, I can think of eight, uh, but it's possibly more than eight. Might be about ten. I'm probably forgetting some. I've also got my scuba. I've got uh, a Brava jet and the regular Brava as well. So including them, certainly over, over 10, 10 or 12. One day I'll get them all out and they can have a fight. And finally, I think I've finally, I think I've finished. I'm gonna to have to refresh just to make sure. Final comment from Ross Ward. And obviously this was posted two months ago. Happy New Year to you and your family and to you too, Ross. Happy New Year to you. Although this is nearly April, that's how, <laughs> how long I've been doing. Ah, oh, that's, um, I think that's it. Um, I'm sorry if I've missed anyone out. Oh, hang on. Oh, heck. I thought that was too good to be true after suddenly more have appeared. Okie dokie, right. Try and get through these now. Doy mate, what's your daily vacuum? I've answered that. The, uh, the shark. That I showed you in my last video, I think it was. Shark cordless, that's my daily vacuum at the moment. Random acts of video, Happy New Year Roger. Can you make a video on the proper way to pack a vacuum cleaner as you always seem disappointed when you get a poorly packed one? Well, when I get round to selling some of my collection, possibly I will, but at the moment, um, with the current situation, I'm not planning on selling or buying any at the moment unless I see something I really want but I'm sort of putting getting vacuums on the back burner there's more important things at the moment to think about and to buy rather than vacuums when I've already got too many um, <clears throat> basically what I find um, it's always the wheels that suffer if you've watched um, some of my videos I've opened one recently and the wheel one of the wheels was smashed that tends to be a weak point for some reason when a box is dropped, as they always are, it, the wheels take the brunt. So if you can take the wheels off, if you're packing up a vacuum cleaner, take them off and give instructions um, of how to put them back on you know, to the buyer or often if it's an old vacuum, the buyer knows what they're getting. I got a, a Sensotronic recently and the seller had um, taken the wheels off and of course I knew how to put them on. He took them off and packed them inside the machine itself. And obviously they survived and the whole cleaner survived. So uh, basically what you have to do when you're packing a vacuum to post, you've got to assume that it's going to be dropped and thrown about. So, you know, the first thing to do is wrap the cleaner itself, uh, the main cleaner in bubble wrap. Uh, any of the separate tools, wrap them in bubble wrap. And then you need to find a very strong box, preferably a sort of a dual layered uh, corrugated box. Uh, put some protection on the bottom, more padding, those air, air wrap, you know, those airbag things you can buy, or more thicker bubble wrap on the base, couple of layers of that, place the machine in the middle, more packaging around it. You can lay the tools, if it's a cylinder cleaner, lay the tools on top, more packaging. Pack, basically pack it so nothing moves. You've packed it so full that when you shake the box, nothing rattles. And then obviously close the box, loads of tape, 
And if you're selling a vintage cleaner in the original box, then personally, I would also wrap the outer box to protect that. More bubble wrap, pallet wrap, whatever. And then hopefully the cleaner will arrive in one piece. But I think if you've seen, watched a lot of my videos, you can probably see why some vacuums don't survive. But uh, saying that, I've had some vacuums just packed in a box with nothing. Just the vacuum and the tool thrown on top, no internal packaging, and they've arrived intact. And I've also had some vacuums with all the packaging and there's been parts broken. So I'm afraid it's luck of the draw if you get sent a broken vacuum. But fortunately, um, the last uh, vacuum you've seen at the time of making this video that was terribly broken was that um, uh, Hoover Futura that I imported from America. Little update on that if you didn't read the comments. I got a full refund for that, everything. I wasn't out of pocket one cent, one penny, um, because I got the full price of that, shipping costs, customs, everything. So basically I got to keep that vacuum without paying anything for it. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned that they saw a, another crack in the um, bag door near where the hose enters. I think Alex mentioned that and Patrick also mentioned that. I checked it, it's not, um, it does, it's not a crack, it is a deep scratch. Uh, but it doesn't go it doesn't go through so it's not terrible hopefully i'll be able to do something with that at some point but at least it hasn't cost me any money so um that's that's fine you know uh, normally ebay are very good you send them evidence that there's been damage and they will tend to refund sometimes i ask for part refund um which i have done in in some cases but ebay have just given me the whole money back even though i really only wanted some money off so i could buy the part that was broken but I wasn't going to complain. Right. Uh, Thomas von Satko, Happy New Year to you from Finland. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> Happy New Year to you uh, for the end of March. Kishan Patel, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It's a long time ago, but yes, I think I did. Um, I have one question. Do you know why Dyson added the fins inside their bins? It was fantastic to see the dust whirling around on models like the DC-01 and 02. No, I don't know why they added the fins. Perhaps someone who does know could comment underneath the video. You know, uh, manufacturers always um, changing the designs. Um, sometimes a problem may occur with a, a vacuum that's in production and in the shops and um, you know they might get complaints and they think oh right we've got to modify this part because there's obviously some you know most of the time hopefully they they go through uh, testing before they're even in the shops um, there is a video and if i can find it i'll put a link it's not my video but it's a video on how the hoover vortex was marketed and designed uh, the Hoover Vortex is a cleaner that Dyson sued Hoover over. It's a really interesting video though, half hour video, fascinating. Um, and so they showed how the Vortex was designed and they showed it in the testing phase and there was apparently a problem with the, the D-shaped handle if you're familiar with the Hoover Vortex. If you're not, there's videos of that on my channel. And apparently in pre-production when they were testing some of the prototypes, the handle broke when it was put through the torture you know they have machines that simulate years of use so they had to go back and um, modify the handle so it didn't break so a lot of the time these things are sorted before it goes to market but they might you know as the cleaners um, in the shops they're already developing new ones and they might have there will be a reason I don't know the reason for adding fins um, I've no idea I can't answer that I'm afraid but I'm sure there's some Dyson fanatics out there that probably know why they added fins to the bins. So if you can answer Kishan's uh, question, please answer it below and hopefully he'll see it. Uh, Depeche Mode Music. Hi Roger, Happy New Year to you. And what are your New Year's resolutions? I think I mentioned those on my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings. And, uh, and I think I've already, uh, yes, I think I've already um, failed at those. I don't tend to make them 
nowadays because you just get depressed when you you don't succeed at your resolutions anyway uh you don't have to wait till new year to make a resolution you can do it all year round why wait until new year you can you can decide tomorrow you want to change something and then you can try and do it whether it's lose weight get fit um stop buying loads of vacuums whatever don't wait till, that's my advice anyway Keep your New Year's resolutions for all year round. Try and improve yourself as, as you're going, you know. Don't just wait for that one day. Right, oh dear. <laughs> I'll have a stab. I'll have a stab at pronouncing the name, but I think I'm going to slaughter it, to be honest. <sighs> Ruinheed. <laughs> Ruinheed. Aria Aria Hod Aria Hod Runehead Aria Hod Runehead Aria Hod asks or says I have seen some vacuum cleaner reviews from other users on YouTube some of the vacuums are okay some of the others are strange my house consists of mostly carpets and does have stairs so I do need a vacuum with a hose what sort of vacuum would be best for my needs a vacuum with a hose then, perhaps? Or do you mean, an, oh, you see, you can have an upright with a hose. I don't know what country you're from, so I don't know what's available. So I'm just gonna have to answer. I, I mean, I don't know if that's your real name <laughs> or it's the name of a character. I don't know what, what I've never know, don't know what that name is. So I don't know where you're from. Um, you see, this is what, I, you know, I've always said I don't like answering what's, what vacuum should I get because I can't answer when I don't, I need more information from the person asking, you know. As I said earlier, I need your preference if you want an upright or cylinder. I need to know if you prefer a bagged cleaner or a bagless. You know, when I was selling vacuums a long time ago in Curry's um, or anything, I didn't just sell vacuums, but you have to... Uh, discover the customer's needs by asking questions so they might ask you something but you need to ask more questions back you see so that's why it's very hard for me to answer and anyone who can just give a single answer is not doing their job um, properly if you ask somebody what's best they will probably give you what they want you to buy because they like it themselves but it may not necessarily be the best uh, vacuum for your home so I don't know this, you know, you've got mostly carpets. So, you know, that's some information. So for me, uh, in my opinion and experience, if you've got mostly carpets, more carpet than hard floor, then you're better off with an upright. And especially if you've got pet air, but you want to do stairs. But the uprights I recommend don't really do stairs very well because certainly the Sebo's, the Sebo Felix and X7, they're good on carpets. The Felix is is better, more versatile. Um, it's probably easier on stairs, possibly, than the X7. But you can buy an extension hose for the X7, but it won't reach up the stairs without you having to attach a hose. So you can do the stairs. Um, but then again, you see, uh, a, a Shark powered lift away is good as well. Uh, one of the later versions it's good on carpet if you've got some flooring which i assume you have some hard floor it's good on that it's also quite good on stairs because of the lift away pod so that's another one to look for so a shark powered lift away this is just giving you some ideas shark powered lift away or one of the SIBO uprights personally but you need to research a bit more i think um because as I said, I don't know what country you live in. You might see if you're in America, SIBOs are quite expensive and um, you might have other brands I have an experience of that might be better. So you can start there and, and see if you think they might be good for you. And if you can try them out in a shop, even better. Um, if Zane, my question is, what is the most rare and expensive vacuum in your collection? I wouldn't know. Um, a vacuum, vacuums, especially the older ones, well, the most expensive, right, well, if, if you're talking about the one that costs me the most, is this, this thing here. 
Right, as far as costing me money, a Vor both Vorvex, that's a bit mucky, both Vorvex is gathering dust. Ah, because I've not used it. S yeah, as far as actually paying out for the Vorvex, new Vorvex I bought are, are the most expensive. Uh, rare, again, you know, I don't have, I wouldn't say I've got any very rare vacuums. I mean, what I consider rare is probably uh, probably down to the um, condition. I'm lucky enough to have some new in the box vacuums from the 70s. So in my opinion, that makes them rare because although the cleaner itself might not be that rare, the fact that it's new in the box makes it rare because obviously most vacuum cleaners bought in the 70s were opened and used and battered about and thrown on the tip when they completely went kaput. So to have, so I would say, you know, I've got a few, I've got Hoover Celebrity, I've got a Hoover uh, Junior, um, even some from the 80s and 90s I've got new in the box. You could just consider them rare because it's unusual to have a machine so old that hasn't been used. So, you know, I can't, that's why I'll say I think the, the rarer vacuums are my new in the box vacuums from from sort of the 70s and 80s once you get to the 90s and 2000s there although they're still fairly rare I suppose to have new um, probably not as rare as a, a 70s cleaner right um, Alex uh, Komada Komada is that so happy new year Roger my question for you is what vacuums what vacuum are you really wanting Greetings from Phoenix, Arizona, I think that is, AZ, AZ. Well, I'm not, to be honest. Well, really, I mean, if you're talking about older cleaners, I mean, it's sort of anything. Um, I would like a Hoover convertible. Uh, UK version convertible, not the convertible America. It, you knew it's a dilematic. I had in the 80s a burgundy colour, which was launched quite quite a sort of much later than the original one. It was sort of a relaunch sort of thing, a bit like when um, Hoover relaunched the Constellation a few years ago. It was sort of it was still had a metal um, base plate. Uh, I think it was made in France, but it was and I had a headlight, which I don't think the original one never did in the UK. And I had one of those, but I built that one from scratch. I had an older Hoover convertible or dilematic, so I used all the internal gubbins from that, the motor. And at the time, you could buy the parts from Hoover, so I bought all the spares, um, you know, the bag housing, the handle, everything, agitator. Well, I actually had an activator brush roll, that model. Um, and basically I built it all up and that, it was a lot of money back then. Uh, it must have cost me in total about £400, which was a lot of money, but I bought bit by bit. Every month I'd, I'd buy a couple more bits. So I basically built it from all new parts. So I really regret getting rid of that. I'd love one of those. Um, Hoover Compact electronic total system, a Hoover Aquatronic, um, I'd like again, it's mainly cleaners I've owned, um, that I've used, uh, I just heard a funny noise, um, for cleaners you can buy now, um, what I'm, th I'm thinking of getting, but you know, I'm, you know, I want to have them to try them, is a Miele Triflex cordless. I have had a look at one of those in a shop. I wasn't that impressed, to be honest, but I'd like to try one. Um, I would I would like um, the top of the range iRobot Roomba, the one that empties itself, the new top model. Mm. So I'm just being distracted by strange, oh, it's a, it's the washing on the line, I can see. I thought it was someone in the garden. Um, yeah. Can't really think. I am fortunate enough to, to sort of... Some vacuums, it does, it does take me a while to think, to, to decide to spend the money. Certainly on the, 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 the Vorvex, 
I have wanted those for a while and it was only when they had 30% off the Tiger, I bought the Tiger, but I waited until they had an offer. So yeah, I don't just rush out and buy any vacuum I want to buy. I do have to consider the cost of those, but the ones I really, really want tend to be ones from the 80s that I used to have. A nice, a nice top of the range Hoover Galaxy would be lovely as well. Anything of that era. I'm lucky enough to have a few sort of new machines that I've managed to get hold of, but they tend to cost a lot of money, unfortunately, because a lot of people want them. Little Turtle, are you going to do anything on a Neato robotic vacuum? Well, I've got a Neato, yes, and I've featured it briefly in little things, but I, I did, I have done an unboxing, or well, started doing an unboxing, and then I had a problem connecting it to the internet, and and then I didn't finish the unboxing, so I will be doing that. I do like Neato, so I would recommend a Neato if you're looking for a robot vacuum. I think probably one of my favourites is my, it's the best. It's the most logical way of cleaning. It does a good job. Um, it's certainly, I feel, find it better than that Dyson that I've, the latest one I bought, the Dyson. The Neato, for in my experience, does a better job than the Dyson 360i and it's cheaper. Right, I'm thinking, I'm saying I think that's it, but I thought that last time and I refreshed the page and I ended up with tons more. Um, because the last comment was only two months ago. So I'm going to go through again and just double check that I've done everyone who's commented. So apologies if I've missed anyone out. So I'm doing it on my larger screen so I can see it better than doing it on my iPad, you see. So I've answered all these. Lots of questions I've answered. Um, I've done that one. Yeah, you see, it's it's stopped now. At, um, a comment I answered a couple of videos ago. I don't know how to. Right, let me just. Oh, it's oh dear, it's changed its sorting. Oh, it's done into top comments instead of newest first. Right now. Right. Okie dokie. Right, right, okay. I think, I'm thinking and hoping that that is it. Because I can't see anything after Little Turtle. But that was only two months ago. But what's happened to any other comments? If I've got any comments. Oh dear. Right. Well, I've done it twice. I'll just refresh again and just before I go. But of course, if I find out that I've missed loads, I'll have to make another video. But so far, I'm just scrolling down. So far. But it's stopped again now. Oh, it's, has it changed the sorting? Oh, it's changed the sorting again because I've refreshed. It's, it's changed it to top comments again. YouTube, it's very annoying sometimes. Anyway, folks, I think, hopefully, I think, well, it's done it again. I've got to Little Turtle again. But I'm sure I must have had more comments than that. Anyway, if I come across more comments, I will make another video. But thank you to everyone who's um, commented. Again, I'm so sorry it's taken this long to finally get round to it. I meant to do this in January, but I have been ill, to be honest. I just started feeling ill in January. Um, and I got, thought I got better and then I got ill again. And it was mainly flu and cold symptoms. And I've had, I've had all the symptoms of the coronavirus, to be honest, including the loss of taste, which is one they're telling, telling us now. And I've had the temperature. I had the, I've had the cough. It started with a cough which is surprising because I, the uh, colds and flus I've had in the past have always started with a sore throat and sometimes I've been able to fight that off and not develop a cold um, depending on how I've been feeling at the time if, if I've been a bit run down the cold develops but all of a sudden in January at some point I started coughing out of the blue 
and I've still got a cough now, a bit of a cough, but it's not a new cough. So I don't think I've got, I think I could have had it. So a lot of people are saying that they might have had this coronavirus, but until I have a test, if I do get a test, if they do a test, um, I don't know for sure. So I've got to be careful. Um, I'm still going out because I have to go out. I, I'm in a job that is essential according to the government. So I still am doing my job. I'm going out, mixing with people. Um, but apart from going out, doing my job and doing my shopping, I am more or less staying in as much as I can because that's what we're told to do at the moment. But hopefully this won't last too much longer. <sighs> Might last a few weeks, but we could be in for months. We don't know yet. We just have to see what the government tell us and we have to, unfortunately, abide by it. I can't see my mum, which is a bit of a shame. Can't risk giving her anything in case I haven't got it or, you know. So whatever you're doing, hope you're coping with this um, coronavirus, whatever country. It's touched most countries, most certainly the countries that watch my channel, which is mainly obviously UK, USA, Canada, uh, Australia. I know you've all had it. And obviously I have some European viewers as well. And of course, Spain and Italy. France, we've all been touched by this, so let's just hope that things get better, but I'll still be here as long as I can, showing you vacuum cleaners. Um, if it takes your mind off what we're going through, well, that's a good thing, I think, isn't it? Anything that you can distract yourself with this time. I'm watching comedies and listening to music and having a sing-song alone at home looking after the dog, so I'm keeping myself busy and I hope you are too. So that's it, hopefully. Double check again, I think that's the last one. Apologies if I've missed you out. Um, hopefully I might be able to do another one of these, might do a live video at some point if I can get round to doing it. So until the next time, more vacuum cleaner fun to come. Again, thank you to everyone who's commented. Thank you to everyone who watches and subscribes. And um, just, I don't know, just thank you. From the bottom of my bottom, thank you for watching silly old me mucking about with my vacuum cleaners. So until the next video, I'll see you all very, very soon. And it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Molly and Daisy off camera, fast asleep. Bye for now, and look after yourself.